So could Fallout New Vegas be getting a remaster and thus mods on consoles? Specifically Xbox One as Sony, although yes you have mods, you don't really have the same capabilities that you would otherwise have on Xbox One. So what little tidbits of information do we have that may make this true or false? But quick disclaimer, this video is going to be totally speculation. I have no idea if it's going to be ported over. I don't think anyone really does other than Bethesda themselves. I'm just looking at some of the facts and why it could be a good idea for Bethesda to port the game over. So the first and most obvious fact is that Skyrim Special Edition did just get ported over to Xbox One and was a massive success. We have no hard numbers as to how many copies they sold or anything like that, but we can make a few inferences and kind of make a educated guess based on Bethesda.net. Obviously, a big attraction of Skyrim Special Edition was the ability to download different mods. So if we look at the top mods for PS4 and for Xbox One on Bethesda.net, we do have the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch for Xbox One and Rain and Snow FX for PS4. On Xbox One, we have 1.1 million downloads and almost 600,000 favorites. By contrast, on PS4, we do have a little under 400,000 downloads and favorites. So those numbers combined put you in the 1 to 2 million range, and then of course we do have some people on PC that probably bought the game that didn't have Skyrim previously, and other people that just never downloaded mods, and then people downloading Skyrim for the first time. So all that factored in, I'm going to take a roundabout guess of let's say it sold 2 million copies. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less, but for the purpose of this video, 2 million copies is how many it sold. That's going to be a gross of 120 million, but that's not including any of the expenses. Of course, you have development costs, you have studio costs, you have the cost of selling it on Steam, and of course, Microsoft and Sony get a cut. But still, that is 10% of the reported 20 million for Skyrim, which is a huge number for any game company. And on top of that, Skyrim took a lot of time and a lot of mound power to make. Just think about the differences in development between the two. Skyrim Special Edition probably only took a year or maybe two tops and probably had a very small team working on it. A majority of the sales were actually driven by the mod community, which is mostly free to Bethesda. Obviously, they have to pay for some server costs now that they do have Bethesda.net, but even that, Nexus is picking up a majority of the load, especially for PC users. So with all that in mind, I think Bethesda made a lot of money on Skyrim Special Edition. So obviously, that's a huge incentive to any company to really look and be like, whoa, we have all these other really popular games, why don't we start doing the same formula on them? So that is obviously one major indicator as to why Fallout New Vegas can have some changes made to it. I think they would have to put more work in, which is actually kind of going to be my second point, and actually maybe one reason why it may not be possible, and that's going to be that Fallout New Vegas is a kind of different engine than Fallout 4. It's not actually an entirely different engine, it's an edited engine. It's like Fallout New Vegas is version 1, Fallout 4 is version 1.5. They never actually made all the effort to go to number 2, but regardless, visually the two games look very different and feel very different. Fallout New Vegas, if you go back and play it, definitely feels like a much older game than Fallout 4. So it wouldn't be as simple as just kind of adding some new lighting effects and maybe a few bug fixes. You'd actually have to do some substantial effort to get it to the new engine. Obviously, you wouldn't have to remake the game from scratch because they are still the same engine, so it would be more of a porting job and maybe some remastering and editing of some different files. With all that being said, you still have this massive backlog of mods that would kind of have to undergo a similar process, one that isn't kind of rebuilding the mod from the ground up, but rather a simple porting procedure that maybe is a little bit more complex than for Skyrim Special Edition, but hypothetically still wouldn't be like you're starting from scratch. So to back that up, Obsidian Entertainment, the kind of game studio that did make Fallout New Vegas, has said time and time again, they are interested in a new Fallout game. I'm going to link one article in the description down below, but if you Google just that quote, you'll find tons of different articles because again, they've reiterated this idea time and time again. So we have the money factor, we have the same game studio interested in working further with that project, and then I think we have the third major factor, which is going to be the failure of Fallout 4. I don't actually think Fallout 4 is a failure, at least for me, but for a lot of people, it definitely is not as good as Fallout New Vegas or even Fallout 3. It brought mods to consoles, and honestly, it was kind of the the first Fallout to reach the full-on mainstream. The other two were very popular, but not nearly as popular as Fallout 4, as well as the implementation of the settlement system was pretty massive, but compared to Fallout New Vegas, it definitely doesn't have the cult-like classic feel, and it really just isn't one of the better games of the franchise. And more than anything else, it actually left a lot of Fallout fans really yearning for their old Fallout experiences. It really doesn't feel like Fallout 4 is kind of a next step from Fallout New Vegas. It almost feels like a step backwards. This led a lot of people to be kind of disappointed, but also gave Bethesda a huge opportunity, if they remastered Fallout New Vegas, I think it would make a lot of people happy. I think a lot of people would pay for that remaster. And at the end of the day, I think that's what makes this the most plausible. Skyrim Special Edition is, from a business standpoint, an incredibly smart decision. Bethesda didn't put a lot of money into the project and got a lot of money out of it, and it's predominantly community-driven. Taken out of context, if you heard about that, that a company is releasing a game with only a few minor changes and charging $60 for it, you have a huge community outcry, but in Skyrim Special Edition's case, that's not what's happening. 
people are applauding Bethesda for remastering the game, for bringing mods to consoles, and all around, people are happy and they're making a ton of money. Now, you better believe that the company's looking at that and thinking about what it could do next to have a similar situation, and in my eyes, that's going to be Fallout New Vegas. I don't necessarily think Obsidian may be the ones working on it, but I definitely think it's a possibility. They do have some other projects coming up, but who knows, maybe not this year, but coming next E3, we will see some Fallout New Vegas remasters, because I do believe a full Fallout 5 is still quite a few years away, as well as the Elder Scrolls 6, and Bethesda does want to keep their newly found console mod audience entertained and having something to play. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what yours are in the comments down below. If you did watch to this point in the video, let me know by commenting Spork down below in the comments. I actually have a new series kind of based around Fallout New Vegas modding versus Fallout 4 modding that should be coming soon, but as always, I thank you guys for watching again. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later!